No, but um, this folks is a, 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 a apparently it's a damp house. Um, I haven't actually found any damp in here yet, but people, um, 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 I think we're going to get some sight of some damp reports and damp companies who say that it's absolutely completely sodden with rising damp and all the rest of it. Um, but what we're doing is, I've, I've only been here 10 minutes and, you know, Pete's doing his usual thing, demolishing things. But, <laughs> um, but um, <clears throat> you know what, I don't think it is inherently a damp house, and I can tell you why, because I've got the floor open down here. And... Um, if you look, um, I'll give you a bit of a peek. Uh, we've got a bit of a mine down here, but um, <coughs> the floor uh, actually is is quite dry, and the 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 space down there. I don't know if you can see on the little. Yeah, yeah. there we go on the camera. Um, you know the the beams are quite dry. There's no mould on any of the beams or anything like that. Um, there's a little bit of salt in some of the brickwork, but. That there um, is the base of a chimney stack, so we expect that to be salty. Uh, the ground looks pretty dry, there's no standing water, there's no issues. The, the stonework here in the bay, uh, that stone, I mean, you look at that brickwork, it's dry. You know, there's nothing wrong with a the brick, there's no dampness in here. The only issue that we've probably got is just a lack of ventilation. And um, if you look across the back there, you'll see where there was a, probably yeah. a ventilation grill, and it's not there anymore. <laughs> So, hello, guess what, you know, that's why we've got rotten timber in the bay, because, you know, we've got a bit of an issue with, with um, drying the place out. And then, just swinging around, we've got this wonderful sort of 1940s fireplace here, but um, the main thing is we've just been discovering um, <coughs> what's going on in the, in the fireplace. So we've got uh, a Victorian corner bead, and... Um, it's absolutely sopping wet if you have a look. This this is this is my nemesis. This is um modern um wallpapers and um plastic paint. You can get a lovely section through it here, plastic paint and everything is just trapping. It's sopping wet, it's full of moisture. Um peel back the ears, get all this stuff off, and you can start to see what's going on underneath. And you can see various generations of Wally Builder. This stuff is, is sticky with, with um, wallpaper paste and everything. But you know what? It's actually not damp. This looks wet, but what we're seeing is actually salt out of a chimney. And we've just taken off a, a lump of concrete. This is what Wally's smeared on all over the chimney. But have a look at what's going on here. This... You see this? That's lime plaster. Oh, so that's the original bit back and that's, that's beautiful original lime plaster. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. That, and that's not the... And that's not wet. Look at it. Yeah. It's, it's dry. Where we've got a problem is where Wally Builder, Wally Damp Man, has come along and guess what? This is gypsum, folks. <laughs> and look at it. Gypsum and cement. We've got, you know, the usual cocktail of everything bad for an old house. And if we take some of this off, um, we've still got yet more underneath there. I don't know what that is. Um, what is oh, right, we've got a... What is that? We've, um, well, that's cement, but that looks like fibre cement or, um, I don't know, some sort of board... Uh, again, Wally's shoved a board on top of it to, to, to try and stop it from um, uh, coming through. But what we're looking at here is just salts coming out of the chimney and concentrating in the base of the chimney. So all we've got to do is just strip this back, get it breathing. And if you have a look there, you can see this is literally just pure... I mean, this is That's pure chemistry. Look at that. It's actually white... Um, probably sulfates and nitrates, um, all derived combustion products out of the out of a chimney. I mean, you know, it, that's pretty unusual. It's it's literally just great gobs of white chemistry, and that in itself soaks moisture out of the air. So it just draws moisture into the brickwork. So our job is to is to try and get rid of this stuff, um, and then we'll have a nice dry fireplace. And here you can actually see. <laughs> A little bit of the original, not very much of it, it's a bit manky, but that is lime plaster.
that's the original Victorian plaster on there. It's a bit sticky and wet from all the wallpaper, but um, but what we'll do is we'll take it back to the original, and we will have a lovely fireplace. Yay. <laughs>